Hi guys. This little fella normally sticks to the outside of one of our windows. Um, not sure how long we've had it. Certainly for the last couple of years it's been in the shed because these um, suction cups as you can see had uh, deteriorated so they were no longer functional in fact they look pretty horrible to be honest so he was just hanging on a hook in the shed and the other day I was in home bargains and saw these suction hooks um, can't remember how much I paid I think it was less than a pound for six of them I was just standing there in the shop looking at them for no particular reason and the penny dropped that I might be able to do some sort of fix now these have obviously been designed with this little key on it so they go in there and twist and lock solid I don't expect I'll be able to find any identical to that and no I won't be trying to 3d print them either although I do now have TPU I haven't tried it yet but I've got some anyway we'll see if we can modify these in any way to do the same job it's just one of those things came to me while I was looking I hadn't gone into home bargains specifically to look for suction cups what I'm hoping is I might be able to just cut along there so that we've got um, a slot in there that I might be able to push through the same hole and it might it might work yeah, if I take that if I just cut through one side without cutting through my finger hmm, I'll find a sharper knife I'll still try not to cut through my finger all right attempt one just straight in like that stuck to the chair now I'm hoping that if I put that in and wiggle it a bit, that's going to sit there like that. It's only one way to find out if it works, isn't there? Do all four of them and stick it in the window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Pack quantity six, that's what I read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Well, that's good. I can make more than one mistake. I wonder if I can think of a use for those little bits. Hmm. Okay, so we'll keep that little knobbly bit on the top because that's the bit that you can pull to break the seal. Wiggle that in. It's not going to be amazingly strong, but there isn't a lot of weight involved here. So I'm just hoping it will be enough to hold it.
thinking about it. If you get enough squeeze on there, you can actually squeeze it together and push it through. I just think. Yeah, technically that should work as an alternative. So if this fails, I might try that. If I squeeze that with a pair of pliers so it goes flat, push it in, then it will spring back, back out a bit. And that might work. Still, we'll carry on with plan A at the moment. Right, I'll go and stick that on the outside of one of the windows. We'll see if it works. Well, I've stuck him. I put him on this window because he won't be in direct sunlight here. Sun comes round the other side of the house, round here. It does end up up there, so very much last thing in the afternoon there might be a bit of glancing sunlight on him but generally speaking looking from inside out we'll get an idea of what it's like outdoors but not in the direct sunshine there he is viewed from indoors can we actually see the temperature I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. No, that angle might work. About 20, what's that, about 23? Or about 70 something. Nothing like the 40 odd that we were measuring the other day on that thermometer. What's that one saying today? About the same, about 24, 25. So significantly cooler. Probably because we got grey skies out there. Did have a bit of sunshine earlier, but cooler than it was. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.